Hello everyone and welcome to another HTML video. This is going to be another JavaScript mini project video. It's more, it's a skill video. It's not a project video, so you won't get the source code for this. But I do recommend that you try to create something like this on your own. Um, and unlike my other videos where I actually go into detail of the styling, I actually pre-did the style beforehand because the styling at this point is kind of obvious so I'm, I'm making it bare bones because I'm focusing on the JavaScript okay now in Python all of the logical elements of you know how code works because JavaScript is actual programming like logical programming but here I'm not going to get into too much detail of that so just try to understand what I'm doing at least if you can't replicate it at least understand what you're doing and try to build off of it you can always ask us how to add on to Projects like this, just like the cookie clicker video. So, without further ado, let's get started. And if you're wondering what we're doing, we're making a to do list. So, basically, the user will be able to enter what they need to do, and then they use a button to add an element. And then we can also delete that element from our to do list once we're done with it. So, to do list. To do list. So, our h1, let's add a br tag. And then after this, we're going to have an input of type text because we want to get their text field rate. Um, we're going to give this an ID of add to do or to do field there because this is where we're going to actually enter our stuff. And IDs are important because remember about get element by ID, we need to access this inputs value and then let's also add our button right next to it button and on click right so we don't need an id but we need an on click because we're going to make a function and let's call this add to do item and this is a function so make sure you have the parentheses and then the end button tag and let's wind this out a bit so it looks clean. Okay. And remember that, make sure you have this because we are going to be editing in the script.js. Okay. And then now that we have the type text, we're also going to need to have a UL. Okay. So now what a UL is, it's an unordered list. Okay. So what an unordered list is, is basically it's like a div, but you can add elements called li or list items to it. And this is very helpful uh, in making nav bars. It's a way of making nav bars. It's a way of listing things out via bullet points. Here we're using it because it has a nice, you know, hierarchy, like a UL and then there's list items. You know, it's a list, to-do list. So it just makes sense to use an unordered list. And then just to show you what I mean, here's an li. And let's say hi. And then another li. with hi2 okay and then of course the ul itself must have an id because we want to add elements to it so we're going to give this an id of to do items so to do items like that okay now let's open it uh, let's reload this tab and we have this oh my bad i forgot to add what the button says the button will say add items there and hmm you know like i said i'm not going to worry about the css really um but if you are wondering how to get rid of the um, bullet points i'll just show you you basically use ul list style type none and yeah you can you can use margins and stuff like that to fix things up okay so now we're done with the html um as you can see we can type things in here but when we add items nothing happens there's no function call that's why we go into our script.js and let's make a new function and what was it called add to do item add to do item and here we first need to initialize initialize our wars okay 
vars are basically variables that hold things in okay so var hmm, so we first need to get text field okay equals document dot get element by id so remember to use that and then what is our id of our text field <coughs> um, it is to do field to do field now this get text field is holding it, it's set to the text field itself okay now we're going to have a new var and we're going to call it new element document dot create element and it's going to be a type of li a list item right and we're also going to create the new elements text element text sorry this is called camel case by the way it just looks nice it's a way that people like you know naming the variables the first word is lowercase and then the next word instead of using underscores like you would in python you would use camel case like this and document dot create text node okay so you might not have seen this one or create element but basically text node is we're creating text that we can add on to our li okay so the text will be get text field dot value okay dot value is basically what is the value of the text field right now okay and then finally we need to add an x button right so var delete button equals document dot create element button okay so now we have our delete button our, our new element our text field we have all of these var variables initialized now we need to actually set our list element we need to build our list element with these tool uh, with these like ingredients and then we need to add it onto our ul our unordered list okay so the way we do that is let's say building our list item and appending it so adding it onto to the ul okay so first we got to take the new element right and we are going to append child which is basically we're going to add on to it like a child element to it and the child element will be our new element text so we're adding the text to our list element right the next thing we're going to do is we're going to also add our delete button dot append child delete button yes delete button then new element or not not new element anymore but now we have to get get text or sorry oh yeah that, that's what i forgot to do we also have to get the value of our ul right so to do items or uh, let's call this our complete list complete list equals document dot get element by id to do items and is it spelled like that to do items to do field oh it's lowercase well you know what like I said I like using camel case so let's lowercase that and that as well okay and then we can finally do complete list dot append child our new element like that and then the final thing that we need to do of course is to reset the field so when you click add items whatever is typed here will be erased so we will basically do that by get text field dot value equals nothing like this okay 
Now you might be wondering, we haven't added a functionality for the delete button yet. But first, let's see if this works. Oh, sorry, reload page. Okay, so it works. I think I might have forgotten. Yeah, that's what I forgot. Okay, this is not good practice. You should always split things up into variables. But right here, the delete button, I also have to dot append child. Okay, or actually, yeah. Let me just show you. Okay, so you could you could do dot append child and then create a new element, a text node, and all that. But I think making a new variable is much better. So delete button text equals document dot create element. Oh, sorry, create text node. Right, text node. X and now it's we have created our button right and we can we can quickly just delete button dot append child delete button text and we can do this we can move this right here just a nice organization of our code right here okay um so now let's see if it works let's reload the page but our delete button does not work what do we do well it's kind of obvious we need a function to delete it but how do we delete a button it's very similar to the cookie clicker in fact let me show you so the way we do that is it's very similar okay to how on click works so on click is a listener. It's an event listener. That's the official term for it because it's listening for an event. What is the event when it is clicked on? In the same way, we need to do this with the X button, right? The way we add this on click property is by adding an event listener. So we have to do right here. Once we append it to the child, once we append our delete button to new element, we need to do delete button dot add event listener click which is basically on click right it's basically saying when this button is clicked delete to do item like that now delete do to do item is a function now here's a cool thing that you can do with javascript that you cannot do with python and that is add functions inside of functions Right, so I am going to add another function called delete to do item. And the methodology for this is fairly simple. So we have to basically new element dot style so we can access its style and then the display element of its style and then we set it to none. Just like that. And our code is done make ycw vids add item delete item a simple to-do list now this looks ugly i want you to make it look beautiful if you are making a to-do list you can implement this in your any of your websites that you're creating as well as like a cookie clicker game just we're going to show you a lot of different javascript projects in the future so just try to implement this if you can okay i'll see you